Hi guys, it's Tamara. I'm back with another video today. Thank you so much for being with me in this video today. So we're going to start talking about complex post-traumatic stress disorder. I have this question asked to me on my YouTube channel. As a matter of fact, um, I might be able to pull it up for just a second here. And uh, I had a couple people ask me to talk about... Um, complex PTSD. So I want to be able to give you some knowledge about what that is um, and, and why is it different from just acute and chronic PTSD. So I'm going to define some things in this video. So thank you so much for being back here with me for those who are subscribed. And if you are new to my channel and you're not subscribed, I encourage you to hit the, dis the oh my lord, the describe button. I encourage you to hit the subscribe button there on the side so that you can stick around with us as we talk about things and grow and learn and really share things in our community, which is growing hourly. So thank you so much for that. So uh, the benefits for you today in this video is that you're gonna learn a little bit about the differences between PTSD and complex PTSD. So let's just go ahead and jump in. This is gonna be a, a pretty short video for you guys, all right? So last week I talked about intergenerational trauma. I, I gave you some of um, the diagnostic criteria of PTSD. Um, I also talked about the different um, uh, uh, levels that you need to meet, and I will post that video right up here in case you missed that. Um, I posted and talked about the different levels of, tr of, of symptoms that you need to have uh, in order for you to be diagnosed with PTSD. I also talked about intergenerational trauma and the genetic and biological components of trauma. So in today's video, we're just going to zone in on PTSD because it's something a lot of you ask me regularly to talk about. So PTSD, what is PTSD? In a general sense, it is post-traumatic stress disorder. And what that means is that your body is going through a traumatic, uh, a traumatic and stressful period of time after an event, right? So here's the event. It's happening after the event. Your body is going through post-traumatic stress. And what that means is that you've got all kinds of hormones that's being triggered. You have physiological responses that's being triggered. And you also have neurological components uh, to your brain that are being triggered as well. And I'm going to point some of those things out to you. I'm also going to post a video right up here for you that I did about uh, the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system and the autonomic nervous system and all that really good stuff that happens to you when you are stressed. Uh, but I will point out just a few brain regions. We have the prefrontal cortex, which is going through a huge shift when you are a uh, 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 diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder. Uh, the prefrontal cortex has a lot to do with decision making. It has a lot to do with emotion management. It also has a lot to do with personality change. It has a lot to do with impulsivity. And sometimes impulsivity is a little off too uh, when you have PTSD. Another part of the brain is the limbic system and the amygdala. Those are the emotional centers of the brain where emotional memories are. And um, that's where you get triggered when you walk past something and you see something and here's a flashback. It reminds you of something or you smell something and it reminds you of a particular time. That's the amygdala and the limbic system. And there's a lot of other parts of the brain. It'll be in the video that I posted above us. Uh, so go ahead and check that out if you missed that. All right, so post-traumatic stress disorder is pretty complicated, uh, but I like to make it as, as basic as I can. Uh, you want to be able to understand it in terms of acute and chronic. Acute PTSD is short term, a few weeks to maybe a month, and then chronic is a few months. Both of those levels of PTSD can be bothersome, but when trauma has happened in an ongoing fashion, it's known as complex trauma uh, and complex PTSD, I should say. Uh, complex PTSD is uh, basically uh, the idea that you had one traumatic event that, that created PTSD, but even after you were diagnosed and treated, other trauma started either piling up or you started uh, running into other traumatic situations that compounded your first diagnosis. Or we can explain complex PTSD as you had one traumatic situation that negatively impacted you and affected you. And that trauma has been ongoing. So sexual abuse, rape, um, a physical abuse, physical assault, domestic violence. So when you think about PTSD, you want to think at two levels. You want to think of two levels. One is acute and the other is chronic. And then if you are suffering from ongoing 
trauma uh, or ongoing abuse, then you can label that complex PTSD. Complex PTSD is essentially the same as regular PTSD. The only difference is that the effects of that ongoing trauma may be worsened for you. It may be difficult. Um, also, treatment may have to be more intensive for you. So uh, complex PTSD, we, we're going to focus on that uh, sometime in the future because I think it's an important topic. I like to point out some things that I have seen in my practice as well. Thank you so much for being with me today in this video, guys. I encourage you to give it a thumbs up if it was helpful to you. See, I told you it was going to be a short video. I feel like we do so many long videos that this was just proper and in place. Uh, let me know if you have questions about this in the comments section below. I'll be on standby to answer them. All right, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.